Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute, it's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. If you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madam M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas... Not really. So that's the way it is. <laughs> Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But, to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. Nothing gets the blood pumping. you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty, please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then, how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> yes, wrong. And you'll leave me in peace. Tails. 
head. You lose. <clears throat> hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. <laughs> but if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, and not just the meal. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. Andrea, let me handle this. We will. You wait out here, but okay? It was like. Then why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that. You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Good evening. Oh. Hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh. We don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required, and the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years?! All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare. But Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Welcome, 
just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm-hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, love of... Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services... Then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... Hmm... Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! The strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? If you're not a customer, then get out. Ready to take the plunge, are we? So, which course will it be? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back. And wait. Cloud? I should warn you, this technique has certain risks. Huh? It's somewhat experimental. You may find it extremely pleasurable and rewarding. Or the opposite. Wait. Absolutely not. You asked for this. Now take it like a man! Everything hurts. You'll enjoy it more next time. Do come again. How was it? Not now. Maybe not ever. Did something happen to you in there? Just... just give me a sec. Just one? Maybe a few minutes. Hmm. Think you'll make a habit of it? All right then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm... Okay. Really? But, you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? It's comfortable, isn't it? Cloud the fashion critic. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? 
You just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. There any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. Into. Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Something Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence. Just don't get too cocky, okay? The doors are now open for tonight's fight. Please enter. From the right, and contenders from the What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. does this thing go, you think? I wonder how many people are fighting. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus, like you should. Wait here until it's time. <laughs> uh, it's not your turn yet. Your names will be announced over the speaker. Just wait until then. Oh, <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know? So, I signed up for the preliminaries, and, well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if 
you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed. For our next match, we welcome two fighters, a young couple no less. Talk about a bad day! Well, this is their first tournament, the bad first date, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! Woo! What if Walmart gets owned? A renowned master of beasts! Will his pet make a meal of our two challengers before our very eyes? They've already been given their appetizers! Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable! The demon dogs of hell! The Sanguine Stalkers! No play beast! You brought animals? Oh, first timers, huh? There's no rule that says you gotta fight man to man. We're in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Who will prevail in this brutal contest between man and beast? This could be over in an instant, so don't even blink. Without further ado, the fourth match of the first round begins now. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> No holding back. What's <laughs> barely got me? Go on! Gotta be careful. Let's do this. Let's finish this. <laughs> What a completely unexpected tournament ends! And the winners of our match are Cloud and Eric! Well, that's one win down. Go team! What's wrong? The rules don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah. Wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. <laughs> Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. That's what they call beginner's luck. But the next match won't be so easy. Ready to rock? Just remember, try not to die. 
for the second match in our spectacular semifinals. Fresh from their first date with death, I present the Lucky Couple. We're like unlucky for the rest of us. Give it up once again for Cloud and Eric. Couple my ass. What the hell would you try to pull? You assholes cost me a fortune. Yeah, yeah. They're hunting screamers in this trap yard. Thieves and killers through and through. Two criminal for common criminals. The worst of the worst. Ladies and gentlemen, check your pockets, because they may have already robbed your blind. The most contemptible sons of bitches inside of Walmart is Bex I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. Hmm. So have half the people in this town. Anyway, 
We're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace, maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. Cloud and Aerith. The final match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. Prove me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling Corneo Cup, filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go! <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the play! Yeah! Come on! Once more, the sweethearts who surprise us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madame M, Cloud and Aaron! Yeah! Come on now! Come on! You can do better than that! And now, five time winners of the Corneo Cup! Murder machines with countless kills to their name! Along with a handful of maimings! The deadly duo that takes up the trash with a vengeance! The electric executioners! Chocobo Sam's champions! Cutting and sweeping! Come on now! Robots? More like Shinra armor. More like cheating! <laughs> Who will walk away with the one million kill prize? Get ready for a fight guaranteed to go down in history! The final match of the Corneo Cup begins now! Get him! 
we go. This one's for you! Taking this rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. When you bet it all on a toss, sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course, even if they are both the same. <laughs> Later. And now. I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry. The madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute! His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madam M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People are placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal. Don't you think I know that? Ah! You greedy bastard, scum-sucking piece of shit festering asshole! Uh... <sighs> but that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? I sure hope so. Go on now. That prize money is going to pay for your dress. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps. Hope your next match is even better than the last. Ready to kick ass? It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. Show them what you got. Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we shared your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one Don Corneo, who has decided that a vote is matter than order. <laughs> Participating in this match will be this evening's leading lights, the dynamic duo that has crushed all competition thus far, Klaus and Eren! Buried in the bowels of the Coliseum. 
an unspeakable horse, long in prison, set free tonight for your entertainment! The secret star of Don Cuneo's stellar stable! Enter the Hellhounds! Just a house. That's no ordinary house. The manifestation of pure evil versus the most badass couple this side of Midgar. Have you ever seen a fight more incredible, more epic? You have not. No, sir, you have not. They'll be singing songs about tonight for generations to come. Keep your eyes glued to the action, ladies and gentlemen. The Cup's final, final battle begins now! For all the battle is joined, and already I can tell you how the bonus match will be back in the book. Get ready, Mr. Apple, I spoke to the top of the cat, the meanest of the mean. But can they handle the horror of the Hellhound? Burn! Ah! Hell I'll show you what I can do. Go on! The future today. He's friendly and that's the promise. Hut, and cat. Yeah. Tagging out. Let's do this. Shit. I'm trying to find a dominant one too much, but it's all pulled back so easy. Don't overdo it. Come on, you can do it. No big deal. Take it over. No, get this cat to the wall with the hell out of property. Now let's have this pleasant home of security. That's it. You're up. We have special gas that the next thing up with us. But don't get too close. You can't handle his heat. Feel that raging fire. What do you think, folks? Cut the hell out of the sea and get out. Gentlemen, but this is painful to watch. It's a great house. It's going to be the hell house. And welcome to the first guest. I'm what coming. Kind of party is it? I don't know, but I'm glad I wasn't invited. There. You can do it. Here goes. What a fool hit the by way. the hell house. There's no way that didn't hurt. No escape. 
is on you. I'll take care of him. Don't catch a cold. Can you take over for what? me? Wait. <laughs> it's almost disappointing. No. Not yet.
Let's get him! That's it! Stand up to the trap! Are they strong enough to pull through? Oh, I got fire to hell! No escape. Keep it up. 
impression, but not for long. The lost lady is down to the game! Still up for it? Don't overdo it. We've got to get through this. Get him! That's it! Sorry, but... Wait, there am I, one here! Be afraid! Be very afraid! Gotta heal first. Oh, man. Did anyone get the number of that house? Stay strong, okay? Can you take over for me? Just, just go away. I'll show you what I can do. Why don't you lead the way? Ha! <laughs> 
burn. So catch a burn. Sorry, my birds. Here goes.
keep it together. Here goes. Things 
love you. Can you take over for me? Don't overdo it. I'll take care of them. The Coliseum is never with you such a fancy battle! for you! Get him! You've got this! Let's do this. Stay strong, okay? Heads up! Take the lead. So it's my turn? Get him! Betting is still open on tonight's fight! Here he comes! One more shot! Are these moves even legal? 
No escape. A heroic move by Eren, as she provides support for her partner. Save her that healing wind. We'll let it wash over you. So it's my turn? Restore you inside and out. I'm coming! 
A heroic move from Eren! As she provides support for her partner! Save that healing wind! Let it wash over you! Restore you inside and out!
boy. <laughs> Awfully rare you showing an interest in someone. What will you do? There you are. I've been looking for you two. So Madam M wanted me to give you a message. She says you guys did pretty damn good and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic, but there's always action if you want to get a piece. You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc. <laughs> well, that's what you call yourself, I'm told. But what have you actually done for the people of Sector 5, hmm? There's this little thing called karma. How a person treats others dictates how they themselves should be treated. And believe me, I'll get you the dress that you earned. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right then, let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation, far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. There ought to be things you can only do without your friend. Now's your chance to get out and have some fun. <laughs> I can tell you're already beginning to feel at home here. Though being so new to it, I assumed you still wouldn't know how to enjoy yourself properly. <laughs> so I went and had a chat with Sam. He said he'd be happy to help you out. Hey, no one asked you to do that. But there's so much you don't know. This is the perfect opportunity for you to learn the ways of the world and man the hell up. And that's enough of that. Aerith, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch! Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. said you'd be swinging by. Let me see if I've got this straight. You ditched your lady friend and fellow champion to have a boys' night out in Wall Market? Uh. Kidding. If I know the madam, and I do, this was all her idea. I can see why. There's no denying you're skilled with a sword. But when it comes to damn near anything else, well, can't help but have my doubts. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But then there's nothing wrong with expanding your horizons, neither. Seeking new experiences. Knowing the ways of this here world will help you to better protect you while you're in it. Reckon I got a few solid gigs for you. What do you say? 
You game? <sighs> yeah. Why not? <laughs> That's the spirit. You have yourself a grand time tonight, Mr. Merck. Welcome. Anything in particular you're looking for? Oh, you must be the Merc I've been hearing about. I need you to help me out with my dad. His drunk ass has been at the bar for hours now. Could you bring him back here? He's probably three sheets in over at Drunkard's. <laughs> Just over there. Sam caught me up on everything. He said you're gonna go rescue Tifa. And to do that, you're trying to learn all about Walmart. Bro, I know this town like the back of my hand, so I can answer all of your questions. Now, let's go knock this one out. The bar is this way, Cloud. Drunkards, here we come. Uh, are we not allowed to walk? This is the Drunkards Den, the best place in Walmart to drink away your problems. It's mostly the same folks every night, so... Whoa, well, you can't just waltz in there uninvited. Listen, there are rules for this kind of... Hey, old dude! Huh? Son, is that you? Did you always look so... moronic? Well, right back at you. Yeah, whatever. We're here to take you back to the store. I'm not going back! Not ever! My life is ruined! It's over! Kill me now! Come on, there's no need to talk like that, old dude. I'll help you out with whatever you need. Really? Oh, thank you, son. See, I made this bet with the Materia Merchant. A sure thing, but then I lost. And so I had no choice but to steal my heart and surrender my precious inspiration. Your precious inspir... who with the what now? Inspiration! <laughs> Without it, there's simply no point in me ever going back to the store. Got it. I mean, I don't got it, but I just need to get your inspiration back, right? Whatever the hell that is. Leave it to me, old dude. Uh, hey, aren't you gonna go with your friend? <sighs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm nothing but a hollow shell of a man without my inspiration. This is... My dad, it speaks to me! I'm telling you. Can't have just one. The more you eat, the better they get. But what do you love me? Mm. I don't even really know how people use Materia. They're just like you. This place looks kind of creepy, don't you think? Like maybe they practice ritual sacrifice or. Hey, wait for me! Hmm? So this is it, huh? And what do you two want? Uh, uh, I'm here for the precious inspiration you took from the old dude. Inspiration? Oh, that thing. But I didn't take it. I want it fair and square. It's mine by rights now. Well, that's true. But I tell you what. I'll consider giving it back in exchange for 
a favor. Uh, what you need? Something only real men can deliver. Uh. I need you to go and get me something from the vending machine at the end. You know what. You know. No, I don't think I... Wait, the sauce. The sauce? Stop saying the sauce. Anyway, good luck. The time has come for me to wield my powers of a... I'm in for one wild ride! I'm gonna see some weird shit tonight! Yeah! I have the perfect room for the both of you. Just say the... Hey, are you really leaving me out here? You need me! You need my knowledge and expertise to unlock the machine's secrets! That's it? That's the one? It looks like a regular old vending machine, right? But wait! <laughs> you ready for this? All right. This particular model has secret buttons. Where? Well, I can't tell you. It's a secret. You just need to tap into your knowledge and expertise. Like, grab it and whip it out. And then you'll be able to see everything. I don't need to whip it out. I've done this before. Watch this. Whoa, look at you, bro. Huh? Is this the sauce? I don't know. You're a winner! Hammer prize! Shit, that scared me. Well, we've done what we said we would. Let's go back and talk to the guy. Back from our little trip. Oh, it's you two. It's time, bro. The sauce. Huh? What's this thing? Shit, that's not the sauce. Boys, it seems I misjudged you. Sorry for making you go to all this trouble for nothing. Don't worry, there's still time for you to learn and grow as men. Oh, uh, well, if there's anything else we can do, let us know. All right. Hate to break it to you, but that thing you were looking for? Not here. It's long, long gone. You shitting me? Nope. Sorry. As I recall, the guy who runs the restaurant should have it. Ugh. Well, I guess we know where we're headed next. Come on, bro. Well, that's that. Time to polish the old orbs. Give them a spit shine so they positively sparkle. Hey, if you're done here, then get going already. Restaurant up next, huh? So, hungry, how goes your education? on the menu. Yes. Right here. Hey, wait for me. I still don't know what I want to order yet. Welcome. Feel free to take any open seats. Sorry, we're not here to eat. The Materia guy gave you something, yeah? We want it. Materia guy? Oh, you hear about that? I'm surprised. Didn't take you for the type. Let me ask you something. 
Either of you know anything about cooking? Nope, never cooked once. That's too bad. For some reason, my food doesn't taste nearly as good as it used to. I was hoping one of you two might be able to help me figure it out. I've narrowed it down to the fridge, the stove, or the power supply. But I'm not sure what's to blame. Here, I seriously have no idea what it could be. This sucks. You know, your fridge might be broken. Maybe it's not keeping the ingredients cold enough. That's so. You're an expert on all things ice? Okay then. Let's see if we can't fix this by fiddling with the temperature. Now that's crisp and fresh. Can't wait to cook with all these great ingredients. Here, eat up. Man, this looks great. Stomach pain. Oh god. It's coming up. Nothing makes a cook's heart sing like seeing a customer's too stuffed to walk. Can't thank you enough. Oh, and here's a voucher along with my gratitude. Get the poor guy some medicine, will you? Drugs. I need all the drugs right now. Out of the way. Out of the way. Get them two at a time. That's their flavor will change. <laughs> Folks, you ain't never seen frozen treats like this. Goodbye. Hey, off my doorstep, you bum. You're away my cup. Sanctuary. Hey, you. This yours? Well. Oh, that about you got there? Could have said something sooner. Come on in. What is it with today? People are dropping like flies. Besides this dumbass? Ah, loads. Of I got enough outstanding orders to fill a book. I was about to leave and make some deliveries, but... Uh, I'm gonna hurl. Eh, I can't very well leave him alone now, can I? Hey, you're not doing much. Maybe you can deliver that medicine for me. You're what? Military or something, right? Then you must know a thing or two about dealing with the sick and injured. You're a lifesaver, literally. So, let me see, what needs delivery? Here, I need you to deliver these three. You'll probably find this guy sprawled out on the ground somewhere, but make sure you check his symptoms before giving him meds. down the wrong side street, I'm thinking. There's a real narrow alley right behind the massage parlor. Only the locals seem to know it's even there.
themselves bankers. Hey, you think they that guy's doing okay? He wasn't looking so hot, you know. Maybe we should go check on him? But this street, isn't it? The one that everyone says is bad news? Shit, you're right. I don't want to go down there now. <laughs> what happened with you know? Aren't you a curious cat, walking dark alleys? You've got balls, so I'll give you a pass. This once. You didn't see or hear anything. You get me? Oh, kid. I know you're not telling me to move. I'll let it slide tonight. Now beat it. Aren't you a curious cat, walking dark alleys? You've got balls, so I'll give you a pass. You didn't see or hear anything. Oh, kid. I'll I let it slide. Aren't nine. you a curious? You've got no. balls, so I'll give you a pass. Wait, you don't mean the newbie too, right? I said deal with it. Can't have this coming back. You didn't see or hear anything. <laughs> My, what lovely uh -huh. weather we're having! Uh, 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 uh. Mm, I've got meds. Let me take a look at you. <laughs> that did the trick. I'm telling you, man. My insides were so backed up, I thought for sure I was gonna pop like a balloon. How'd you do that, anyhow? You some kind of doctor? Mercenary. Well, whatever you are, I seriously owe you. That chef's putting some crazy-ass spices in his food or something. Thanks, man. You're the best. Wait, what the... Where the hell am I? Hey, bro! This ain't no place to hang out, you feel me? Ain't nobody gonna give a shit if you get your throat cut here. Hey, bro, this ain't no ain't nobody gonna give a shit if you get oh. your throat cut here. And it all leads mm -hmm. back to Shinra. They're the ones move. Moving the money behind the scenes. <laughs> Relax, man. Relax. And then there was this crazy looking house, right? And it was all like trying to kill him. But then Cloud was all like, bam, bam, boom! Your friend fought a house. A house? Oh, hey! Welcome back, bro! Better already? Yeah, now he won't shut up. Anyway, how'd the deliveries go? I did about as much as I could. That's fair. Still, if you can find the time to deliver the rest, you'd be doing me a pretty big favor. Anyway, I promise to be worth your while. Here, I got something you're definitely gonna like. What is it? Well, it belonged to the owner of the clothing store first. Heard from the cook that you boys been running all over town looking for this. Am I right? Wait, we have? Hold up. What were we doing before all this? Oh shit! The inspiration! Bingo! You see, all us Walmart entrepreneurs go way back. We get together for a game every night, bet all kinds of stuff. This found its way into the pool and eventually into my possession, and now it's yours, cause hey, why the hell not? It's a VIP card. Highly coveted and extremely rare. They're only given to a select few. Not having it is gonna do you much good, but... Holy mother of... No way! Bro, we gotta get to the honey... Uh, I, I, I mean drunkards on the double! Tell the old man I said hi! Eat them two at a time and they're fighting. Still mm. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I got it all. Everybody's favorite chocobo. My heart is beating so fast, bro. Like it's gonna burst right out of my chest. Hey, old dude, we're back. Huh? Who are you? 
You're no son of mine. I think. Special delivery, just for you. Ho-ho! <laughs> My inspiration! You've returned to me at long last. Yo, is that what I think it is? Oh, you bet it is. And it was hard won. I sew dresses day and night for those ladies until I got what I was after. A Honeybee in VIP card! I knew it! Now make way for the VIP, boys. I don't want to keep my ladies waiting any longer. But first, I should pick up a gift dress. Lead the way, old dude. We are coming. Can't have just one. The more you eat, the better they get. Hey, how's about this? What are you, crazy? <sighs> well, thanks for bringing him back. Can't imagine what you went through. Here, you earned it. Hey, you're coming, right, bro? Get ready for a real wall market education. I'm done with this. You, you can do whatever the hell you want. I get it, bro. You're scared. It's only natural for people to fear the unknown. Uh. It's a pity you're not gonna join us, but I swear to you, bro, as an aspiring wall market connoisseur, I'm gonna go in there and get as much inspiration as I can handle for you, bro. For you. Because, Cloud, you are my one true bro. Honeybee in, here I come! Inspiration, here I come! <sighs> Perfect example of how age has absolutely nothing to do with maturity. Couldn't agree more. show up. Thanks for coming, and welcome to our humble training hall. Jules, head trainer. If you've got some time to spare, how about a little bit of fun? Want to try taking on one of our guys? <laughs> You're not serious, are you? Look at him. He's a scrawny little thing. I can snap him like a twig. Now, now. I wouldn't judge this one by his muscle mass. What do you say, Cloud? If you want to give it a go, just let me know. So, you up for a round? Ha! You're taking me on? You look like a dried up old Terpsichold left out in the sun. I got no idea what you're getting into, little man. All right, enough talk. We'll settle this the tried and true traditional way. A squat off. Now, let's all see what you've got. No way I'm letting you win. In. Oh. Yeah. You're oh. looking good. <laughs> I knew you could yeah. do it. You've got this. <laughs> Come on. That's how it's done. Yeah. <laughs> Best you can do. Not bad at all. I knew you could do it! That's how it's done! Your form's looking good! You've got this, come on! I knew you could do it! Your form's looking good! That's how it's done! Not bad at all! You've got this, come on! That's how it's done! I knew you could do it! Your form's looking good! Not bad at all! That's how it's done! You try to get into a rhythm! Uh. 
I knew you could yeah. do it. You got this. Come on. <sighs> <laughs> Nothing to it. Ah, ow! How the hell did I lose to this scrawny little kid who looks like he doesn't even consume his daily recommended amount of protein? Ronnie, you know it's all about quality, not mass. You're too quick to judge people by their build. That and your overtrained ego are the main reasons you lost to our bold challenger here. Thanks for helping me teach my boys a valuable lesson. And sorry for dragging you into it. Cloud, we're all one big family here at this gym. And now you're part of it. If you're ever up for training, our doors are always open to you. Let's work together to maintain healthy minds and bodies. Should probably go see Sam again. you see in our little enclave of sin and debauchery? That it was an eye-opening experience. Nothing I haven't seen before. That it for jobs? Not exactly. I got one more favor to ask. You want to get teeth out, right? What's your angle? <laughs> Just get your ass to the Coliseum. You'll see. We've been waiting for you, champ! Stands are packed thanks to you. Now get out there and give them a show! Lovers of bloodshed and mayhem, your favorite champion, Cloud, is back in the ring! Right now, this boy may be hot, hot, hot! But look out, folks, because these dynamite challengers may just blow the champ clean off his throne. I hope you brought shades because you're about to see some fireworks. Fighters, begin! <laughs> The reigning champ does it again! 
Was that hot enough for you, fight fans? Did the champ bring the heat? Indeed he did. He proved there's nothing more explosive than the guns he's packing. Nice going, champ. You were in fine form today. Here's your cut. You earned it. Not here for the cash. Tell me about Tifa. Ah, Tifa. She's something of a bombshell herself, huh? Girl keeps in shape. And boy, does it show. Hey. Just making an observation, that's all. Anyway, seems like you're serious about getting the poor girl out of her predicament. I could tell easy enough by the way you fought back there. Cut to the chase. Well, you helping or not? Never said I would. Opposite, even. Getting mixed up in other people's business isn't my way. Plus, as you are now, I reckon you could ride to a rescue without anybody's help. And that's the truth. You've changed since you first rolled into this here town. For the better. <laughs> At any rate, I've said all I'm gonna say. Your lady friend ought to be done changing by now, am I right? She ain't no Tifa, but she is a firecracker. Keep her waiting too long and she might just blow up in your face. Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud. Bro. I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just wanna say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. <sighs> so, like... How'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said... The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. Please, please! You know? I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. So, bro, do you have any advice for a smart, stand-up guy like myself? No. Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but, uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there once she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir! <laughs> 